Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have our books and DVDs that we have read throughout the month of October. So we're going to get through them because, well I need to, because I've got to quite go through even though most of these are not shown here. Yes, I know. So first of all, most of these are actually going to be ARCs. So I read a lot of ARCs in October and it's crazy. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get any more in November. I might get a few here and there, but I'm happy to have some. So the first book is actually an arc. This is Never Made a Sex Demon by Chris Rivera. So this is what I read at the beginning of October, obviously after I was still in the middle of reading it from last month. It's amazing if you basically is a girl who has a sex dreams but then ends up having a demon come into her dream and make her dreams reality when he pops up in real life. Then we have a, another book. This is called Song for His Siren by Mary Jane Dallas. This is just a novella, so like a quick little easy read. It's all basically um, thought he can find his soulmate. Find his soulmate, thought, oh, let's give her a death scroll. She might like that. And then she's like, ew, no, great, that's disgusting. And then obviously um, she finds out what's the problem and thing. And then next, you know, they're going at each other. When I say going at each other, I mean she takes it in. But he was like, oh honey, this ain't big and this isn't what my usual size is. I'm going, oh damn. So when he goes back to, when they go back to his world, his long is bigger than usual. She's like, that's not going to fit in me. And I'm just like, ha. And he's like, yeah, it's going to fit, don't worry. Damn. Then obviously again, we have the third arc, which is The Back Forest by P.S. Westock. So this is the second book to The Keeper. And then it's the third book called The Veil. I haven't read The Veil yet. Um, I might get it as an arc, I'm not sure yet. Um, I can't actually, funny enough, I know it's really bad, but I can't remember actually much about The Black Forest. I only read books, um, I remember books, so let's say, that I can remember, like really popped into my mind. And anyway, then next we have is Teach Me How to Fly by Layla Brown. This one is an arc, and this one peed me off a bit because the trauma in this. <laughs> I wanted to punch the person in the face, okay? Um, then we have is the next arc. This is The Heart of the Gulf by AJ Bryce. This was actually a really good book. I did enjoy it, but I don't know why I can't remember most of it. I know it made me cry, and the author was like, I'm so sorry for making you cry. I was like, it's not a problem. Because something happened in it, and I did not expect it to happen, and it happened, and I was like, no, you made me cry. But I will be getting that book in a physical or physical form um so there is that then obviously the first thing i have is angel friends so this is the first dvd we went through this has 52 episodes and two no, a movie i've made two movies i can't remember now and um, so i watched this so this is actually you can find this on youtube this um series and i love this because it's about an angel and devil um basically like between two people angels between angels and devils they go against what each other and to win if these humans can do bad choices or good choices they do the good choices they're angels you know blah blah but one of the two people selfless and um ralph they fall in love with each other when they're not supposed to and then just something comes on from that it's just really cute so i love that so obviously that is my dvd already um yep and then the next book is actually the golden girl by anna conwell this book was surprisingly good i did not expect to actually like it i thought it was going to be a spicy book it isn't it's just a cute little cuddly little romance hockey romance and it was really good sean daniels is the brain of my assistance always have been and always will be when we were kids he annoyed me to no end by being good at everything he didn't have to study or really even try meanwhile i tried too much and still lost to him then when we were teenagers, our rivals became twisted. He started sabotaging all our relationships. That's because he had a heartfelt feelings for her ever since then, and way before then, and even when she was dating someone and he broke her heart. Because this girl was like, Tori, sorry, you're, not, you're too good for me. So you're not good for me enough. I'm breaking up with you because I just made it into the um, thing. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And then he's off engaged to some model, swim, so, a swim model. And I'm just like, you? <laughs> yeah. Um, now we are doors, we should be able to move on, but when it becomes when I become a physical therapist for his professional hockey team, it seems as though we can't get enough of our rival tendencies. Suddenly our sneezing starts to border our flirting, 
Pets are made on lines and cross. The, the kind of the lines that were once crossed, you can never go back the way things were before. So at the end of this, we go through actually another book that's going to be out, the second book in the series. I can't remember what it's called, but I know it's about golf, where his friend actually is looking for an assistant, and the assistant is obviously going to be female. And the relationships, that's fair. Which I cannot wait. Then, obviously, here we have is a Transformer one. I actually went to watch this in the cinema. You will see me guys do that as well. So little cinema clips so i actually enjoyed this this was really fun, fun to find out more about um megatron and um optimus prime and to be honest it was funny okay i will be getting this in dvd excuse me then next up we have is the night shift by annie crow this book is just pure june okay it's so cute so this girl called kendall she literally reads smart books okay she reads smart books and she's in the library and this guy here, Vincent, he comes out and like, look, I've got a broken hand, I'm not really in the pit, I'm in the greatest mood. I'm pissed off, can you just please help me? So she's like, okay, we're going upstairs. He's like, why not the lift? Because she just feels smut seen in the lift. She's like, yeah, not going to happen. And um, so she was reading a book, like a poem, and he was behind her, like, Bobber, like, breathing down her neck. And next thing you know, he's holding her with one hand, because her hand is broken and kissing her against the bookshelf and there's very much thoughts and just like Ugh. i cannot read this, read the second book because that's what it's going to be in the series i believe it's going to be with one of her friends against a swim boy called callum the book room and the basketball player are meant to match about to meet their match kendall holiday spends her friday night expects exactly where she wants to be with her head buried in a spicy romance novel where she works the graveyard shift at her university's library she knows she could join her friends for a weekend of drunken debauchery and college parties but she's like her alone time she tells herself she isn't hiding when she gets lost, lost in the pages of a fictional love story this book i'm definitely keeping like i said i cannot wait for the second book <coughs> hello um, I pardon me again. Yes, I do burp. Okay, I don't care. If you haven't been following me, come on. Who hasn't seen me burp or hear me burp? Anyway, so I have to show you Aquaman. So I did read, uh, watch this one again. Obviously, it's back on my shelf. It's like somewhere in that little pile there. Because I got the DVD of Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. So it's about how Mantis tries to get, um, like goes after Arthur's family, basically, his family, his kids you know all of that and obviously his father because he can't have his one so he's thought you know i'm gonna raise the dead just to kill you and destroy everything you have so obviously yeah i do have that next up we have another dvd this is called avalon high Oof. Um, avalon high is about a girl who goes to a school originally and her fam family's like what's the she was like what's the point of making friends i can't do this blah 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 and they're like um actually get over we're staying here for the end of the semester you were literally staying there, she's like, I can make friends, I can do the club. I she's like, yes, and then obviously we find out that it's all about Arthur and this and it starts there. So if you haven't watched it, um, Avalon High, go watch it. I was so excited when the put is this is the same person who I wore Angel Friends of. And I'll tell you now, I'm so excited to have that. Then next up we do have Scorpion by Evia Saint Grave. So I did have the physical book of this, but I gave it to someone else instead because this book wasn't really my type of book. It didn't really get leave a uh, mark on me and I was like, really, this is kind of uh, boring to me and the spice wasn't exactly there as well. Then next up we actually have is ASAP by XDL. So I wanted to read this because it sounds so good. And come on, who can you not see that the covers are beautiful? Obviously it was signed up by the author, you know, look how cute. Um, so I got this book because I obviously I have The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by um, this author. I was like, why didn't I not grab her other books? I may not sound like the sound of it, but I could read it. I didn't like the sound of this, and then I read it and I was like, oh yeah, I'm glad I read it. So I'm trying to find um, XOXO in fairy form. So if you guys know where I can get it, because um, someone has it, but... It's not fair loop because if it says fair loop, it will have that on it. Fair loop exclusive, and it's just a piece of paper with um, you know when you sticker a sticker on saying, um, like with a signed signature on it. So I love this book. This was about Sorry who worked her whole life to become a cop paper. So Sorry, 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 
Um, she is an like, K-pop rival with her mum, who works in the company. But something happens, and then she ends up falling, really falling in love with her ex-boyfriend, and so does he, uh, Nathaniel. And they both just start to romance again, and it's just so lovely. And I love it, it's so cute. I need to get XOXO. And obviously, the, I believe she has a new book coming out next year. Next up we have is the art called Unbreakable by Danny Gallo. Gal 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 so this one was about marriages basically, but then you're breaking apart and doing all this stuff. It's like this big whole thing that was going on upside down. And obviously how their marriage was going ups and downs. But they were going back from the past where they got together and how their relationship was fine and all that. But at the end it does turn out really good. Then I have The Lost Starling by Bailey Back. I did this, have this in physical form, I just didn't enjoy it and I gave it to a friend. Basically, it was supposed to be a Peter Pan retelling but I just did not enjoy it. It was like a small book like this. I did not enjoy it at all. It was really not the greatest the thing I had read before and I didn't enjoy it. Listen. Then we have is Spilled Wine by Jessie Ardine. This was a really good book. I did enjoy this. This is the second book to Whiskey Glasses and I will be getting some of this book in physical form because I do have it right there that's the first book there so this is about um her sister and sydney and um cal um this one also made me cry because cal got in an accident Oof. okay did not expect that but i really did enjoy that then next up we have another artist called fly away home by felicity stevens so this is about a gay romance which was my first time reading a gay romance to be honest it was good i loved it it's about a cop um basically trying to deal with someone um try and find that mystery and they find a mystery but he's like i shouldn't go back to him i'm gonna go back to him and then this relationship kind of starts between this and a suspect who doesn't end up being a suspect by the way guys he's really nice then next up we have is grounded grounded by marie tandy this book i actually enjoyed so much i cannot wait to get this in physical form this book is about a guy who is seriously in love with someone but doesn't want to break the friendship between these two but they go on a holiday basically and this relationship starts to start and they're like can't they crave each other and they want each other i'm just like oh, i need this like it's so good so yes i'll be getting this book in physical form then next up we have is somewhere for your loneliness by jerry murray this is an arc so this is about a broody man who basically doesn't get try gets what he wants but at the same time he has this city girl comes along into his world and he's like i love her and i want her and i want to keep her for my life and it's just like this romance thing but where she had an um, a incident in her life that traumatised her and so with him it's a lot of things but they kind of work together and next you know this romance starts to be so cute and I will be getting that book in physical form as well and then <laughs> yes we're still going to shut up next up we have is a, another arc this is called A First Car Marriage by Sira Dion this one was oh I can't remember about this one now. First come marriage. Oh, this one doesn't leave me, but I know it definitely sent me because I said I want to get it in physical form. <gasps> oh, God. I want to look at my good reads. Hang on. And now I remember. So this is basically a guy who, Sebas, Sebastian, um, they, he was getting married to um, Sabrina's sister, but... Sabrina called her sister basically screwing her boss from another company, her company, and she was like, look, if you don't tell him yourself, I'm going to tell him myself. She told what happened. He was like, no, no, you're just making, you just want to ruin it together. So they left and blah, blah. He never married. He was like, I'm never going to marry again. And then next you know, these two are heading to Vegas to do something. And then next you know, they leave Vegas on something. They literally slept together and they got married. And then from them, they literally got this romance together. And the point where they basically, she was like, "Don't want to call you Baz because that's what my Baz, what my sister would call you. Sebastian is mine and mine only." I was just like, "That's so cute." So yes, I'll probably be getting that book in physical form as well. So yeah. Next up, we have is Clyde by Bao Kabaha. Uh, Kabar Kabar. So I got this book in um works because come on spray dishes this book yes it's good it's spicy it's hockey romance and it's everything i need in a book really so summer is a girl who basically has to try to win trying to get into an um spot in the commission and she has to do basically a report with aiden the um captain of the hockey team 
at first they were like, no, I hate you, you can go and suck a dick basically. And next you know, the relationship between these two gets together, he wants her, she wants him, and the tension is real. Then obviously she finds out that the guy that she used to be dating is actually dating a teacher and doing her to get the grace he needs and wants. So there's that, but I cannot wait to read more about this and read more by this author and I cannot wait to read the next book. I think it's about ballet. So there's that. Next up we have is The Beastmaster by Volume 1. I'm not going to continue this book because there's only two volumes in the series and that is it. Nothing else and that stops. Why stop at Volume 2? Like this was literally has so good. So it's about a girl who basically meets a guy who acts like a wild animal and then next you know he submits to her basically and everyone calls her the Beastmaster. I wish to continue but I only found that there's only two volumes in the series so I will be passing along to someone else. It goes in my pod there. Then I read, um, read Christmas Alibi by Dan Alice. This is an arc. This was... Yeah, I really should read more of a pet, shouldn't I? Uh, did it, did it, so yeah, this was like a little, just a, a little Christmas spicy read. Not much, but it only read like a couple of hours, just read in one sitting. It was not too bad and I enjoyed it. But I don't think I'll be getting it in the physical form. We we'll see. I haven't decided yet. And then the book, lastly, is Consider Me by Becky Mack. I am currently reading this. As you can see, I am currently not even halfway through this book. And this book is so funny. The banter in this book is just hilarious. So I definitely will be keeping this book. And I cannot wait to keep this book as well. And read the next volume books as well in the series. So yeah, there we go. So that is everything I have for my books and DVDs that I have read for this basically this month. Um, so I'm hoping to ma take a massive chunk of my books that I have on my table. Um, if I don't get any arcs or that many arcs to read, I need to get ma take a massive chunk because there's a lot of books I really want to get my hands on to and read. Um, so yeah, that is everything I have. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys next time for the next book release video when it comes to the end of November because I have a two weeks off at the end of November till the first week of November so I'm going to be hopefully reading as many books as I possibly can and yeah same in December though I have a week off in December as well so hopefully I can read a lot more so that is everything I have for this book haul I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys next time for the next video of the book releases for next month peace bye